Hi guys, it's Prophet Parham and this is Prophet Productions and I'm back with another video. So this video, as you see by the title, is about prodigals, okay? I was seeking the Lord because I, I was reading some of the comments and I know like just over the time that God has called me to this ministry, prodigals has been one of like a very big thing, okay? And I see these videos where and let's pray. Okay, let's let's pray first. Let's just pray before we get into it. Father God, I thank you right now, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, for this moment. I thank you, Lord God, for this day today, Lord. I ask now that you would forgive us, Lord God, of anything that we've done that was not like you, Father, knowingly or unknowingly, Lord God. I pray right now, Father God, for your Holy Spirit, Father God, to rest on us, Father. I pray right now, Lord God, that you would just take over my mouth, take over my tongue, Father God. I yield myself to you now as your vessel, Lord God. I pray, God, that you use me, God, how you want to use me, Father God. I pray for any distractions right now, binding them up. I pray that you draw the people that need to hear this word, Father God. I pray, Father God, for revelation, for clarity, for silence instruction father god i pray now god that you would have your way completely lord god in us father just take over right now in the mighty name of jesus oh god we love you we thank you we adore you father god we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor it is in jesus name that i pray amen amen and amen so yeah so i see all these videos popping up and they're like your 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 kingdom spouse or your husband's gonna love you like this or your, you know, your, 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 your husband's gonna, your husband's gonna look at you in a, uh, you know, in an admiration. And I see all these things, right? And I kind of, I really kind of be like, you know, just clicking off, like clicking the, um, don't recommend, don't recommend, don't, re don't recommend, because it just, it's like, it's such a sensitive topic, but I know a lot of people are wanting to be married or waiting to be restored or think they know their husband or it's it, and if you've ever been in it for real it's it's hard it's really hard to be a standard it's hard to be desiring marriage and really not see it's just hard so if you've never been in that you don't understand like how it feels so when i see certain videos it bothers my spirit because i'm like you know there's so many people that are standing or hoping or praying and they see that stuff and it soothes them for the moment, but it can also be misleading. So I was seeking the Lord and I was like, Lord, how, um, how can we know if we really have a prodigal? How do we know if you're really talking to us and telling us somebody is our husband? And why would you talk to us and tell somebody is our husband, somebody is our wife? I was seeking him on all these things. I don't have anything written down. So this is just straight down low, straight from the throne room, straight to you guys. Okay. Um, so number one, I, one of the questions that I wanted to know was, why does God reveal to us our husbands or our wives? What would be the purpose of that, okay? Um, for me, he revealed it to me in a dream, okay? Um, there was a code word in the dream, and he revealed that to me. So when I met my husband, I did not know that was him. It wasn't until Holy Spirit kind of pushed me, like, okay, respond back to him through the text. I did, and as we talked, um, he dropped the code word that was in my dream. And so it all lined up. Holy Spirit spoke and brought the dream back. Then I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't have to tell my husband, hey, oh my God, you're my husband. No. Um, he basically was like, hey, I know it's going to sound crazy, but I think you're my wife. He, are, I didn't need to tell him. You know, Holy Spirit did that, okay? So you don't have to tell that person, run them down. Just, just, that's just a tidbit, okay? They're going to know. Just like you know, they're going to know. Um, or they're going to have that unction or something. There's something that they're going to feel and know like, hey, wait a second. This might be something. There's something. OK, you don't have to reveal that to them. Um, but the reason why um, that that he shows us our spouses, um, number one, when God wants to do something or God wants to get the glory of something, um, he will foretell it. He will forewarn. He will show it to you. He doesn't show that to you um, so that you can obsess over, so that you can stalk it down. He will just make us privy to it because there is something there. Whether he knows the journey that you're going to go on, he wants you to be so, like, he wants it to be so strong in you. I know that this is it. It may look crazy, but God showed this to me. God told this to me. So that's kind of one reason why, because he understands that there's going to be a road to, to getting there. That's whether he shows you a job that's yours, a husband that's yours, a wife that's yours. You're going to have this child. You're going to have this business. Whatever, anytime God reveals anything to us before it's time, um, it is because it may look sketchy. 
there's something about it, it you know you have to get tested in it it may look the opposite there's something about it that he had needed to show you first so that way you feel it you know it in your heart this is yours you're able to go through and withstand when you know that god said something or god showed you something you, like, it's something that you can't be shook off because he showed you it you saw it before it's time okay and that's so that when it does look sketchy it looks crazy you still know in your heart god showed me this so I know what this is. So you'll stand more firm in knowing it, okay? So that's one reason why. Second reason why is a lot of times we will miss it. A lot of times, had he not gave me that dream, I would have missed my husband because I was never going to call him. I was never going to get involved, it, you know, just because I just, I didn't want to. Um, and so I, I, so I would have missed it because if he hadn't uh, gave me the dream, even when, even when he told me to um, respond back to the text, it had been like two days and he had been texting me. And uh, that third day when I was sitting there, I saw the text, I was getting ready to block him. And um, the Holy Spirit was just like, no, don't block him, respond back. I mean, real clear, but like I said, I always minister to people. So I didn't think that it was like, because it was my husband, I thought just, he wanted me just to minister to him. I had a, a word that he needed to hear or something, you know, but um, but had he not, had he not did that, I would've just blocked him about my business and would've missed my husband, right? So, um, so he second he will tell us or reveal it to us so that we don't miss it so that we now know okay this is it there's something there we don't miss it all right but all the other reasons like i see people like saying like well what would be you personalize this in your life what would be the purpose of god showing you or confirming to you that somebody is your spouse or something is yours or there, there he doesn't just he doesn't just show up and just do that he doesn't he, there's no reason to do that okay and it'll actually cause more harm than help us because sometimes knowing things before it's time will obsess over it will become just it just it's just a whole little thing to it right so he doesn't just go around giving dreams and saying, this is your spouse, this is your spouse. Like, he doesn't just do that. There's a purpose behind it. It might be a purpose of ministry. It might be a purpose of, you know, like I said, the enemy might attack it. Might attack it. it might be a road or a journey to it. And he needs you to know that you know that you know that it's something that he's doing. Okay. So that's really the reason why he shows it. Those are the kind of, those are the two reasons. And I, okay last reason or another reason that he showed me right now is because he wants to get the glory out of it he wants you to know that it was him um if he hadn't revealed it at all and you meet this person y'all run up into the sunset you won't give god the glory of it you'll just think like oh i got you know i met my husband da, da, da. you'll be happy like god thank you like whatever but you won't know that you know that you know that god put it together if he doesn't reveal it before it's time right so he reveals it before it's time also so he can get the glory so that from the start of it you know to put him first from the start of it you know this is the foundation god is our foundation because he revealed it to you so that he could be the foundation so he can get the glory from it all right those are the reasons why he reveals to you your spouse he reveals to you you know about children whatever it is okay those are the reasons um next how do you know that you have a prodigal okay what is a prodigal? let's back up what is a prodigal all right we all know the story of the prodigal son and if you don't so there was a man and he had two sons all right um so he gave both of his sons their life savings their earnings whatever you want to call it okay he gave them what belonged to them right all right, so one son decided to take his earnings and stay with his father. The other son, the prodigal son, decided to take his and go on off. He went off, he squandered it, he had the time of his life, spent all his earnings up, and then he found himself eating with the hogs in the hog pan, okay? He's eating slop. And it says, as he was eating that slop, he came to, and in that moment he came to, and he's like, wait a second, my father's servants eat better than this. I'm going home. Okay, so he came to, he saw like, this is crazy. I'm eating with the pigs, like I'm eating with, like I'm eating slop. It's great. So he decides to go home. His father sees him from far off and begins to tell them, hey, prepare the, um, prepare the uh, shoes for him, prepare the, the, the ring for him, prepare, you know, the coat for him, prepare, prepare the feast for him. So he begins to prepare. And the other son that had stayed with him all that time, he got mad. He's like, what? I've been here this whole time and you preparing a whole party, a homecoming party for him and not for me. And he's like, yeah, because he's the one that was lost and he came back, right? Okay. So that is what the prodigal is. Prodigal is somebody that left um, because they just, whatever they had going on, they left, but they came back. They came to, they came back. Number one, it's representation of Christ, okay? If you are not living a certain way, a, a certain way, you can't be representation of Christ. So you couldn't have a prodigal. There has to be, there. you have to be, you have to be 
in a righteous way. You have to, there's something about you that has to be connected to God because in them running from you, they're running from Christ. They're running from the what's in you. Christ lives in you. The mission, the destiny, the plan, all those things that God put into you. So when y'all come together, this is what y'all are to do. They're not running from you. They're running from Christ. So if you don't have that relationship, if you don't have that, if you're not in that, if they can't look at you and see Christ, if they can't, they don't hear Christ or anything about Christ coming out, then you can't have a prodigal because what the prodigals return back to where they're supposed to be. They come back to God, back in alignment, back to the wheel. How can you be those things if you're not walking um, in a certain uprightness of God? Okay. So that's the number one. If you're not in a certain place with God, if you don't even know him, you how can you have a prodigal? What, what is he coming back to mess? What is he coming back to natural flesh? There has to be something there, okay, um, that he can return back to. Um, so prodigals, whether it's a man or a woman, in this marriage thing, right, because I didn't know about a prodigal. I didn't know about a kingdom marriage. I didn't know about restoration. I didn't know what any of these things were at all. And when... I got married the first time and um, we were separated and I was praying and I heard God say restoration to your marriage and I was like restoration to my marriage you know and I'm like okay looked up restoration kind of like really try to understand what that meant but I had no idea there was gonna be a whole long journey I, on that journey, I learned when God called him a prodigal, I learned what a prodigal was. When God told me that I was standing, I learned what a stander was. I learned what restoration truly meant. I learned the different processes that you go through, the reason why God separates, the reason why. I learned all of these things, okay? So a prodigal is someone, a man or a woman, um, that at some point, God has separated you guys. They may... Um, what makes them the prodigal and what makes you not the prodigal what makes them the prodigal is the fact that they decide I can do better. I want something better. This is it for me. They decide to detach from it. Whereas you're more submitted to it. They're not. They decide to take off. This isn't working. This, this ain't God. This ain't, I don't know. I'm just going to do this no more. This ain't going to work. They give up. They tap out. They leave. Okay. But there is something on the inside of them um, that is always knowing this is where I should be, right? This 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 feels right. There's, if you have a prodigal, if it's a man or woman, there is something on the inside of them that is always going to keep them connected. Okay, I don't care. Like my husband, we got a divorce. He remarried. Here we are again, married. Okay, because there was something on the inside of him, the Holy Spirit, that no matter what. Our spirits were in alignment. Our spirits were connected. That's why God says what he puts together. No, not, like, no person, no nothing, no wish, no warlock, no counterfeit, nothing. Put it asunder. Because once he connects the spirit, there's nothing that can break that. Whether we naturally detach from it or don't want any parts, whatever, we're still connected in the spirit because God has spoke that word. So whatever happens, it has to reroute and come back together. Okay? So... If you have that prodigal, wherever they are, there's something on the inside of them that keep you guys connected. Whether they're not talking to you or they ran off or whatever it is, there's something that's keeping them connected. But at the same time, um, I know some people say like, well, I haven't heard from them in years and this and that and all that. I can't, I can't really speak on that, okay? Because I see like a lot of people say, well, I haven't heard from him in 12 years. I haven't heard, and I'm, I'm not one to say God said, didn't say, I don't know, okay? We have to personally... I do say that personally go before the father and be like, hey, Lord, you know, give us some insight. Give us some wisdom. OK, however. In the mix of you waiting on the person that you think a product that you think is a prodigal or not, there will be confirmations. OK, it won't just be a video that you feel connected to. And I and I and I pray and ask God to do this video because there's so many people that are being misled. I see these videos and all these things and I'm like, Lord, like, like, you gonna just let them be out here doing these videos, doing this stuff and misleading these people. Um, there it's it because you're in such a you're in such a vulnerable place that you want to hear something that sounds you want something to like soothe that heartache or that pain or that whatever it is, you need something to hold on to. So you gravitate towards YouTube because right now YouTube everything is like King of Marriage is King of Marriage that and Oh, prodigal this and prodigal that. And your husband's going to be like this. And, oh, he's missing you and this and that and all that. So it, it, you gravitate towards that. But what I, over here on this, on, on my page, something that God has entrusted me with, um, I didn't 
just pop up and be like, oh, let's do on Kingdom Marriages. No, I actually had to go through that. Okay, 18 months of going through that of standards, praying, fasting, like thinking I was crazy. But the thing about it is God continued to confirm to me, okay? He continued to confirm it. Not only was I having dreams that I could not make up, dreams that I could not escape. He was speaking loud and clear to me. He was making it clear. He was making it plain. Um, even sending people like, you know, for my daughter, my mother, my sister, um, different pastors, like different people to be like, hey, listen, you know, like he was highlighting, he was making sure, all right, when I would be like, all right, that's the, I don't want to parse it. I'm not waiting on that. That's crazy. Just too much. I got to, I got to move on. It's been too long, especially once he got married. Once he got married, that was like, I thought it was real crazy. I was like, you know, I made all this stuff up. I'm just completely slapped crazy. I was like, Lord, look, I don't know what that was. All right, let's go. We're moving on. And even in the mix of that, he still came back again like, no, no, this is what it is. This is this is what I said. Now, in my situation, that's very extreme, okay? Because some people will say, well, I, I have a prodigal. He's married. And it gets very touchy, okay? It gets very touchy. I talk to a lot of people. And they're like, well, he's married or, you know, this and that. And, you know, and I, but I know that's my husband. And I'll be telling them, like, we got to really seek the Lord. Because when it comes to the, them being married again, that right there can get a sticky situation. I know for my situation, it was very extreme. But it's because of the mantle that I have. So for my testimony, my testimony is there is no marriage that's too dead for God, Okay? My God ordained spouse married somebody else, and even that could not stop it. But it was almost like my it had mine had to be so extreme because of the mantle that I carry in order to be relevant, in order to really um have a, a marriage ministry for real. I have to be able to go through quite a bit of things in order to be relevant to you guys, in order to meet you wherever you are. Doesn't mean that just because somebody married somebody else and you think that's your husband, that's your husband, or it's right, because very well it could not be. You know, um, God is not going to just go breaking up marriages. So you have to be real careful with that. But mine was very extreme, like I said, because of the mantle. Um, and so and there was something that was needed in order for me to be able to minister to people, and let them know, like, yes, no marriage is too, no, there's no marriage too dead for God. I don't know how much more dead we can get than y'all divorcing and him marrying somebody else. And then y'all still, God's word still coming forth and y'all still being remarried. I don't know how much more, like, dead it can look okay <laughs> so i bet but as for other people though i, I you, you have to really know that you know that you know god's gonna confirm it he's gonna continue to confirm it and i get it sometimes the prodigals are like well i don't want you anymore leave me alone they might block you all that yeah he did all that too um and it was just at that point though it just came to the point where it was just me and god to where i had to really get in god's face and one thing about it is at no point should you stop everything and just focus on this one area. At no point should you be, I can't get out the bed. I can't do anything. I can't go on. I need this person. I do, you, you, at no point should you get to that place. Because at that point, um, like I told you in the other video, it becomes an idol. It becomes a form of a God to you. It becomes obsessive. It becomes, and at that point, you're not getting it back because it's, you become, you, you've started to worship it without realizing it, okay? You have to be in a place where you're doing something. Once I was able to come out of that place, because I went through a lot of stages in this, once I was able to come out of that place of... Um, of like, okay, Lord, fine. You don't want to give it to me. I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, because I was just mad because I was, I was tired of like standing. Like, why I got to stand for this? Why I got to, why he get to be over there? Mary get to do this. He get to do that. Why do I have to be over here? I got to be fasting. I got to be praying. I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm like, this is crazy. I don't want to do that. Right? So once you get past all of that and you get busy, um, YouTube would have never came about because he kept telling me, you know, listen, this is what I need you to do. I need you to just, he was giving me the name for the ministry. He was telling me get on YouTube. And I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. I was like, the man's not back. So why would I go and do that? And I'm be looking crazy. But it was necessary in order for in order for him to come back, in order for God's plan to start moving forth, I had to get busy. I had to do what God was telling me to do. So if you're in that place right now where you're just like, well, I just don't know what to do, and you're mad at God, or you're, because I was there, I was mad at God, and I didn't understand it, and I didn't get it. So if you're in that place, you got to get up and get busy. You got to get up and get busy. God doesn't just give prodigals for no reason. There's something in that needs to be birthed out of you, you know. And if y'all are separated, God separates it because it's a process. There's still some things that need. If you are together, 
it might tear each other up. So what he does is he separates you guys and works on y'all separately. But at the same time, y'all spirits are still connected. So even though naturally it may look like they're, they moved on or you thinking like, okay, you've moved on. The spirits are still connected and God's word, li literally it will perform. But you have to be busy doing what God tells you to do. You can't just stay there and just sit there. And um, those are the people, for the people that really have prodigals. If you are in question, if you don't know if you have a prodigal, um, you know, you got to really, for real, seek the Lord. You got to seek him for real because you don't there's so much deception going on that was the reason for this video there's so much deception going on that a lot of people are thinking that they have prodigals a lot of people are thinking that people are their husbands and their wives and it's not and then when you're not seeing god do it and it's been two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen seven eight nine twenty twenty one twenty two thirty five thirty years then you're like oh, i know he's gonna do it but then there's still like at some point you know, at some point, there should be something. You should see some movement. It shouldn't be 30 years. You ain't heard from them. They got a new family. They done moved on at that point. Because that, that's just, that's, no, that's crazy. And I'm not saying that you're crazy. I'm just saying that at that point, that's crazy. Okay? Um, the situation is crazy. You got to really go back to the drawing board. God, what is your plan for me? You shouldn't still be in that place like that. Okay? Now, even though he was gone for 18, 19 months, there was still communication. He would still come. Like when I would get really down and I would really be like, okay, Lord, look, I really need you to show me something. I'm like, look, by the end of this month, I'm, I need to see him. If this is if this is real, if I want me to keep going, I need to see him. And I'll be dang gone. Literally, I said that. And literally, maybe like an hour before 12 o'clock came in for the next month, he showed up. I don't know where he showed up. Like, hey, he can come outside. So God was constantly confirming. God, God will confirm. If he's telling you to stand and you have a prodigal, God will continue to confirm it. But understand this. If there's no if there's no ministry behind you guys, if there's no big purpose behind you guys, if there's no, then th there will be no reason um, for God to be confirming and running it down. Because there has to be a reason. It has to be some kind of way he's going to get glory out of it. Okay? And I really just want to do this video because I, I, I felt in my spirit and as I was looking on YouTube, it made me greatly uh my spirit was grieved because there's so many people doing these videos and you guys are watching these videos and you guys are thinking that people are your spouses that are not your spouses and you guys are holding on hope for certain things and it's not and and it's not it's unfortunate because you're in a place of being heartbroken you're in a place of really wanting love really wanting this person or really wanting to get married but at no point should you be so desperate that you just have an itching ear to hear whatever at no point should you be just so um lonely that you gravitate towards whatever these people are saying and you use that to muster up strength to go day by day you know there's there's so much more that god has for you and and at some point you got to pick up the pieces and you got to push forward um i do have sessions and i and i know people say all the time they say well your sessions are a whole lot and i tell them god picks my prices and it can't just be you know just 10 bucks you know because the, the, you leave room for people to play. You leave room for too much riffraff, right? However, email me and we'll work something out. Email me and we'll get down to the bottom of it. You know, even if you say, hey, well, I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but this is what I have to sell. Because at the end of the day, this is still, uh, this is my ministry, this is my business. I have a counseling business, okay? So it's it's not a life coach like they say. It's not that, but it's serious. And I, and I want I, I want to help you guys navigate that because it's going on a lot right now and it, and it really grieves my spirit. And I had to pray. I was like, Lord, you gotta you gotta help me to break down this prodigal stuff to them so they can understand they have a prodigal. They don't have a prodigal. So I hope that this video hope that this video helped you a little bit to understand so that you're not just waiting on somebody to come back that's not coming back. That you're not just calling somebody a prodigal or praying over somebody or praying over somebody's marriage or whatever. And God didn't say that. And now you're getting uh hopeless you're getting frustrated with god you're getting mad at god and they're not even they're, that's not your person okay because the, the what we want to do is we want we do all want our persons but at the same time you want that to really be your person you don't want to waste time because i believe that god is the he, he creates the most beautiful love stories and i think that and I don't think I know. I know that God creates the most beautiful love stories. And we are, as, as humans, we're, we're hard people to deal with. So sometimes when he assigns two people to each other, they, you know, I might just be like, no, nah, I don't want that. I don't know what they got going on over there. But it's something that God saw and he saw it fit. So sometimes we have to slow down, get in God's will and be like, God, your will be done. And you'll find that that is actually the greatest thing for you. Okay, so if you indeed have a prodigal, um, 
I know that God will perform his word. Listen to me. I don't, if, if you know for a fact that this husband or this wife that you guys are not together right now, whether God separated you, whether, you know, they ran off, whether you took off, whatever it is, if God said that he's going to restore your marriage or he said that you're going to be with this person and you know for a fact he's confirmed it you know you heard his voice you know the dreams are right you know the prophecy was right you know this for a fact with all of your heart with all of your body with all of your soul do not be weary because he will do it i did not think i was like i'm just at this point i'm just crazy at this point this is just not this is not God. This is craziness. I don't have time for this. But God performed his word. He performed, And not only did he perform his word, but it was better the second time than it ever could have been the first time. And it continues to get better. And it continues to get better and better and better. And um, that's something that I love because we're actually growing together. We're learning together. We are equally yoked. So it, it's, it's just, it's getting better. It's, it's getting, and I've, I've never had something that continues to get better, you know, Sometimes it just kind of stay like, you know, it's like, okay, I love you. You love me. Like, you know, it's good. But it, it gets good. It's like, it's getting better. Like, it's getting good. It's getting real good. And I'm learning more and more about kingdom marriage as I go through one, you know. So I'm hoping that soon, very soon, um, within like the next two or three videos that I'll be able um, to interview my husband so that you guys can get the insight from the prodigal side from like you know their thoughts their mental when they're wherever they're at you know we got our standard side but i would love to hear the prodigal side so definitely i'll have that video coming soon um but yeah guys if you if you if you're standing and you know god said it keep standing if you think you have a prodigal whether it's a lady whether it's a man whatever email me email me and let's get down to the bottom of it okay email me i have sessions available and this week right here i will be available most of the week so email me and let's get down to the bottom of it so you can move on with your life okay i i want you to be free i want you to get what god has for you and we're going to go before the Lord. We're going to seek him. And we're going to ask him. We're going to see. God, is this yes? Is this no? What do we need to know? Why hasn't it came? What do we need to do? Something that I'm missing. Something I'm not doing. What is it? We're going to get down to the bottom of it. And we're going to get you where you need to be. Okay? So um, you can email me. ProfitProductions444 at gmail.com. Okay, guys. Well, I think that that is it for this video. And I think it's going to be, I hear you. God said prodigal to be or not to be. That's the name of the video. He literally just said prodigal to be or not to be. So I hope this helped you guys a little bit. And I'm not talking about nobody else's channel, what they got going on up there. I'm just saying, when I'm scrolling and looking, the, I'm grieved. My, the Holy Spirit is grieved that people are, you know, using this whole kingdom marriage thing to gain views and gain money when this is real when people are really dealing with this and i've been on that side really dealing with it so i know how it feels um so yeah but i love you guys and i will see y'all in my next video um and yeah not i don't know the next two or three videos i'm definitely gonna have my husband get him on here so that we can get some we can so y'all email me some questions so in the, as a matter of fact in the comments leave me some questions that you want me to ask my husband um so that we can pick his mind we can we can find out what the, what, what other prodigals are doing by what he was like we want to know we wanna, what, what, what y'all be over there doing what y'all be thinking is god talking to y'all like what, what 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 is it right we're gonna dig in deep and get some dirt and figure out because i want to know the other side i want to know what they have going on when we were separate don't you want to know i want to know i want to get here in the psychic <laughs> all right i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all soon bye